Hi everyone, uh, this is Hisham Murad. I wanted to walk through uh, and talk about uh, Log Insight 1.5 uh, content packs. So first of all, one of the things I wanted to point out is the VMware Solution Exchange site, which I'm currently pointed to. And once you are on this site, one of the things that you'll see here is the Log Insight content packs link. This allows you to go out and actually get these different content packs for uh, vCenter Log Insight. And so when you go there, you can actually uh, start through, uh, searching through all the different solutions and download any content packs that may be relevant for you. So you can see here there is the Cisco UCS content pack, EMC VMAX, uh, ExtraHop, HITRUST, uh, EMC VNX, NetApp, um, and a number of others that are available here for you uh, to try. So again, you can, you know, please feel free to come, you know, to this site and search through these and take a look at these as well. So um, another thing is there is a content pack for uh, vCenter Operations Manager. As you can see here, there is a the vSphere content pack which ships with Log Insight, but also is available here. The great thing about these content packs is that they are in fact out of band. So you can easily update these content packs inside of Log Insight without having to update Log Insight itself. Um, we have the Puppet content pack. You can see here the VCE content pack, as well as the Horizon View content pack. That's actually you know in the works uh, and should be coming soon. There's going to be a number of additional content packs that are being built as well. So uh, we'll look forward to making these available for you. And you know, please feel free to you know frequently visit solutionexchange.vmware.com to download these content packs and go ahead and leverage them. Uh, so let's uh, jump uh, right into uh, vCenter Log Insight. And so you'll notice here I have essentially two different folders with a number of different um, icons. Um, I'll tell you why that is here in a moment, but let me just very quickly you know, log in. Here is Log Insight 1.5. And so the way this is uh, set up here, uh, when you install Log Insight 1.5, you'll always get the vSphere content pack installed by default. And that's something that you can see here when under the dashboards page, if I you know, click on the download arrow here, you'll see all the different content packs that are in fact installed within this environment for me but you can see the one that's actually highlighted at the moment and again when you do an install of Log Insight you'll only see this one here VMware vSphere you'll see my dashboards and any shared dashboards also under the custom dashboard area but you won't see any of these additional ones so this is where you're gonna go out to the Solution Exchange site, and then you're going to download any of the relevant content packs for you and simply come in here and import those in. So having said that, let's talk about that first and then we'll come back to you know, these different content packs. So if I go to the administration uh, site here, there's the content pack section, and I'll click on that. And so a couple things I just want to point out here. So first of all, let me select the VMware vSphere content pack and now I can see VMware vSphere the associated information relevant to that content pack I can expand this get some additional information you know around this content pack um, I can also export this uh, here um, and share it with somebody else but also I can uninstall it if I choose to you know um, also now one of the things I'd like to point out is you know uh, as I mentioned in the blog that the content packs essentially are a a combination of dashboards and queries and alerts and extracted fields and these content packs are built by subject matter experts within these specific domains right so in this case you know the VMware vSphere we have some vSphere uh, experts that essentially have helped put this content pack together so that you know these dashboards these queries these alerts the extracted fields that are available as part of this content pack really becomes very meaningful when you actually start to collect logs from those environments and start to look through this data. Okay, so I just wanted to point out all this information here. Now, the other thing I just wanted to point out also is the download more link. So this download more link is simply going to 
bring up a, a dialog box that's going to take you to the marketplace. So it's going to tell you the type of different contact packs you can be able to download. It'll send you over to the marketplace and you can go from there and actually again start to you know download these different content packs as you can see here you know on this page. Um, the other thing I wanted to point out is importing content packs. So once you go to Solution Exchange and you download a content pack, content pack, and you want to come back and actually import this into your Log Insight installation, you simply come over here to import content packs, and then you simply browse, you know, for that file that you've downloaded. And once you've done that, you simply select import. So you can install it as a content pack, which means that it is now going to become a read only for all the users that are in the system or you can import it only into your content and so that means it's only going to be editable and usable by you and there's going to be situations or different use cases where you may want to do one or the other. You can essentially select the file and then simply come in here and import. I don't have one just because I've essentially imported a lot of the different content packs that are available uh, for us today. So let me just jump back very quickly here to the dashboards. So essentially the dashboards is where you see the content packs. So I pointed that out already. So here's a drop down. We're currently looking at the VMware vSphere content pack. And each of these content packs is going to come with a number of different dashboards, again, tailored for the environment that you're looking at. So here you can see a, a very quick uh, overview of vSphere. Um, and I can go in take a look at any vSphere events. If I wanted to move from here to that data and drill down deeper, I can simply select this arrow button here and that will essentially allow me to drill into the interactives page, uh, interactive analytics page and drill down deeper into this specific uh, data. So again, we'll just kind of, you know, highlight a couple here. So, you know, here's the, you know, virtual machines. You know, do I have any, you know, content related to these virtual machines in the last 24 hours? So you can see here, I don't have anything now, but if in fact I go back, you know, in time, select a custom time range, I'll likely find something, right? Let me just take a quick look at ESX, ESXi here, you know. Do I have any, you know, events that have taken place there in the last, you know, 24 hours of data? And sure enough, you know, I do have a number of events. Again, I can, from these widgets, um, you know, I can essentially transition into the interactive analytics page. Now, if I scroll down, you're also going to see the relevant queries and the alarms, um, you know, here as well. Um, where I would see the extracted fields, if I do, in fact, jump into the interactive analytics page for any of these, that's when, on the right-hand side, I'm going to likely see any related uh, exported or extracted fields, excuse me. So you can see here that, you know, VMW, VMK component, and I can see here from this icon, and I can see the VMware, uh, you know, VMware vSphere content pack, you know, that just came up there, um, highlighting that this is from that specific namespace. So it's in fact from the contact pack for vSphere. So again, these content packs are really going to help you uh, troubleshoot and you know sift through a lot of this unstructured data that's coming through in the form of logs and really help you make sense of it and really focus in you know on specific areas I want to focus in on storage I want to focus in on networking I don't want to focus in on any you know alarms or tasks that are taking place so very quickly be able to you know focus in you know on these uh, different uh, content packs um, so let me just uh, do this here so you know, that was the vSphere content pack, and now you'll notice here I have a number of different icons, and I'll just kind of go in and highlight one or two of these, but let's just go into the EMC VMAX. The reason why I have different icons here is because I have um, predefined uh, or, or data that I've actually uh, pulled in through logs from these different environments, but I basically have these different icons focusing in on a specific time range, if you will, relevant to where that data is, right? So, you know, when we were collecting data in this environment from EMC VMAX, is that specific time frame. So no powerful uh, dashboards here. And again, if I really, you know, wanted to take a look at these and see, you know, 
where is this you know thin pool utilization that's over 50 percent you know i can see that because i'm actually filtering on it but then i can actually go in and drill down deeper into that data as well and another thing i can do here is in fact i can clone um you know take some actions here like cloning these widgets and whatnot if i choose to into my own shared dashboard space so again just wanted to highlight you know a number of different content packs do in fact come with different uh, dashboards uh, for you uh, so you know you can certainly go in and leverage that information so uh, again I just wanted to you know again summarize so that these content packs is something that you can very easily download from solutionexchange.vmware.com um, and you can easily import them into your installation of Log Insight through the content pack uh, menu here you can go in and you import the content pack and decide whether it's in going to be installed as a content pack that will be shared with everyone or just for you um, and then it's going to be available to your users and depending on what that content pack is obviously you're going to make sure that you have the relevant logs being pulled into log insight uh, through syslog um, you know coming in through syslog uh, to log insight and then we're going to be able to you know provide you very powerful information and visualizations around that data in log insight so i hope you enjoyed this uh, video thank you very much and we'll look forward to chatting with you on the next tech tip thank you